And if you're just joining us, we are uh, covering uh, what was a four alarm fire on Staten Island, 88 Shotwell Avenue in the Arden Heights uh, neighborhood of Staten Island. This happened sometime, the call after 1.30, between 1.30 and 2. Uh, huge flames, we have pictures, we can show you huge flames, huge smoke pouring into the sky. Uh, uh, Firefighters, we've learned, eight have been injured, three seriously, five minor injuries. As far as the family there, this uh, home is the Polizzi family, Vincent and Donna Polizzi and their son, uh, Vinny Polizzi. Vinny was home, uh, he, and he, a uh, young man, looks to be in his 20s. We can, we'll show you some of these interviews. He was home working, said he was on the internet, and it stopped, something, something went wrong, uh, went to check the circuit uh, breaker, uh, did not go back on, and then saw flames, got the dog, called 911, called his family, who were not very far away, and got there. So there were no injuries to uh, the police family, or, as from what we know, no injuries to the people who live in the adjoining house, because again, this is a two-story home, two-story structures, um, uh, two family structures, each two stories built in um, 1980 from what we can see. Um, do we have, are we going to, I um, need to ask the control room. Let's listen uh, to the police and so you can understand from them, they give us a moment to moment of what happened. Let's listen. So, so you're literally out of town. You're rolling up on your own neighborhood, and you see smoke coming from your house. No, no, I said call this. He said, you better come home really quick. We were only shopping. We were only, shopping. We were only a, little, a little bit away. And he said, come on. And then as we're coming home, we sort of, we heard the fire engines, and we saw the smoke, the black smoke. From about the there are the two homes attached? Yes. So you live on the one house. I'm on the right side, our neighbors on the left. Uh, they had, looks like they sustained a pretty good amount of damage. I don't think as much as on our side, but I saw flames coming out the back of the window. My son was home, and he, he saw flames coming in the back of the house, outside, and he called us, and we ran home. He called 911. They evacuated the house, the neighbors got out, and now this is what we came home to. And now you're homeless. Well, I, I suppose so, at least you got a place for me to live with you. Uh, how's your son doing? He's fine, he's right here. Yeah. How you doing? You? Uh, I'm just glad that everyone's safe and the dog is safe. Um, that's what matters. And you were home when it happened? What yeah. did you see? All, all I noticed was that a circuit breaker foot that was working and I lost internet and I saw I saw the circuit breaker foot so I went to go turn it on and it wouldn't turn back on. Um, so then I went downstairs and saw smoke coming in from the back area of the house. Down towards the basement area? You no, towards the, towards, the, uh, towards the screen room. Uh, so not on the first floor, not in the basement, from what I could tell. You were in the hall? Yeah. And so you believe it could have been electrical problems? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. I just, I saw fire. Uh, I called 911, grabbed the dog, and got out. Did you have the dog at all? Yeah, he's fine. The dog's okay. What is going through your mind right now? Uh, uh, a lot, a lot. But we're thankful we're safe, so, you know. Say that, man? Can you name please? You. Uh, Vinny. P-E-L-L-I-Z-Z-I. -E okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's really all that matters. You look a little shaken up, though. You think? You think? <laughs> it's pretty devastating. Where were you when this happened? I was at, I was out running an errand. And when you got here, you saw flames? What did you see when you were No, trying? my son called me and said to me, come home right away. I was just out running errands. My son just arrived home from a business trip, too. So, I mean, I wouldn't have been home. My dog would have been in the house. Things things worked out okay. Things worked out okay. I'll, I can replace everything eventually. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Donna. Donna? Yes. Last name? Easy. Can you spell that for us? P-E-L-L-I-Z-Z-I. -Z -Z -I. Thanks so much. Which home is what? The one that broke down. The one that collapsed? It didn't collapse. Okay, the one. Okay. The one that took on the severe damage. Oh, that's yeah. you guys Let's hope it doesn't collapse. <laughs> Sorry about it. It's only a house. It's okay. And where's my son there? I have to walk. That's all, that's all, really. I mean, when it comes right down to it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So, I'll replace things slowly but surely.
do you have any, do they have any idea? I know your son was saying he saw some. No, everything was fine. There was no heat running because it was warm out. There was no air conditioner running. Everything was fine. There was nothing plugged in, nothing, I mean, like nothing extra was going on. My son was just working on his computer. He was working from home. So happy that your son got out of flight. Nobody was in the Yeah, that's what matters. That's all that matters, really. At the end of the day, my God. Here's a live look now at Staten Island North uh, University Hospital. The injured firefighters, three of them were taken. We're told they were in serious condition uh, fighting that fire. Uh, some part of the two-story home on Shotwell Avenue collapsed. Five other firefighters, we understand, uh, suffered minor injuries. And again, the homeowners, one young man was there. He got out. He called 911. Uh, his parents were not there at the time, and as far as we know, no injuries, uh, no one on the uh, adjoining house, because it's a, a two-family house on Shotwell Avenue. The cause of this fire, we just don't know. A lot to happen, a lot of information to find out, and of course, the condition um, of these firefighters. They are in our thoughts right now. Look for continuing coverage on CBS 2 News beginning at 5 and throughout the day on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. We're also posting updates on this Staten Island fire, which is now under control. Uh, we'll have those on our website for you, cbsnewyork.com. I'm Dana Tyler. This is breaking news.